so I'm here with Maria Esteban from CNRS and the University of Paris Dauphine. Um, so Maria, you've given a very um, inspiring talk at the World Meeting for Women in Mathematics, which took place just before this ICM. Could you please tell us a bit about that talk and what it was about? Yeah, so the title of the talk was um, How Mathematics is Changing the World. So the idea to explain why mathematics is so important for the development of new technologies for the future of our world. And so I explained a little bit in the reasons, the mathematical reasons, and gave a lot of examples uh, of um, things that we use all the time and we don't know that in order to make them uh, a lot of mathematics was done. Could you give us an example of one of those examples? Uh, drugs, or how to place um, bypass in your heart, uh, these kind of things. How to build a plane, a new plane that doesn't take fire. Okay. Sort of and um, I've read that you've said in the past that you do mathematics in order to try and understand models coming from other sciences or from physics, so that links in with the topic of your talk. So could you give us a closer idea of what your mathematics is about in terms of inspiration, but also in terms of the techniques that you use? Yeah, so my research is mostly theoretical, but I am in contact very much with people doing real applications. And the problems I work on are mostly inspired from uh, physics, theoretical physics, relativistic quantum mechanics, and relativistic quantum chemistry. So it's problems that come from the study of matter. I study them from the theoretical point of view, but uh, there is a continuum between what I do and people who are really uh, working with chemists, physicists, and developing new products, etc. And what kind of mathematics does it involve? Uh, Nonlinear partial differential equations, calculus of variations, some numerical analysis, this kind of thing. You're also currently the president of the International Council for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. Um, what does this involve and why do you think it's important to get involved with such a role? Well, uh, this um, International Council for Industrial and Applied Mathematics is a society of societies, so our members are societies of all over the world. Most of the societies of applied mathematics in the world and some generalistic ones like the LMS, for example. And so our role is first to organize a big congress that is a little bit equivalent to this one, to the ICM, but for another community. I would say that the ICM uh, uh, is a congress uh, for part of the community. Is uh, there, are, there are applied mathematics here, but it's mostly pure mathematics. And so the ICM is a congress uh, for more applied people, so we have an overlap between the two congresses. It's also every four years. We give prizes, we coordinate activities between the societies which are members, uh, this kind of thing. So it's good because it's organizing the community at the world level in the direction of industrial and applied mathematics. And um, going back to the World Meeting for Women in Mathematics, um, how did you enjoy that, first of all? Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was interesting. I, uh, there were two kinds of talks. There were women speaking about their research, and there were the women speaking about the problems of the women's community in mathematics. So it was a mix which was interesting. Mm -hmm. And why do you think it's important that there should be a separate, or not a separate, but a specific satellite meeting for women? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that many women think that it is good to organize such a thing to give visibility to women in mathematics. In principle, personally, I prefer to have mixed events and uh, that women are present and well present in those mixed events. But certainly for many women it's important also that we have different, different events. Uh, it creates some kind of link between the women who participate and it gives some visibility to, to the women who work in mathematics. And um, now, you've recently been awarded an honorary membership of the London Mathematical Society, so how do you feel about that? I'm very proud and I was very surprised when I got the news. Uh, the LMS is a very important society historically and uh, I know that it's a big honour, so I'm very happy about it. Now, taking the ICM and the World Meeting for Women Mathematicians together, what was your highlight or what were your highlights so far? Actually, the best talk I heard was a woman in the ICM, and in a uh, plenary talk by Sylvia Sarfati, a French mathematician who is now working in New York. And she gave, but there are other talks that were very beautiful, but I think it's uh, the one I prefer, really. She gave a wonderful talk. What was it about? It was about uh, point interactions. So it's a topic that comes from physics originally, 
but has links to other fields in mathematics like number theory and statistical physics and other topics. And she gave a wonderful talk uh, about the problem, the origins, the mathematics that is uh, around it. So it was, I think many people said it was one of the best talks in this Congress. Well, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the Congress. Thank you.